Det är er här expertis. Är det som har gett mig ett löft är er att bli känt med det internationella miljö, de internationella akademikerna som är er experter på olika fagfält i förhåll till Ipsen. Ibsen has these really important messages that resonate with issues that we're facing today that have to do with democracy, that have to do with environmental change, gender roles, the identity of the individual and the individual versus the collective. And then the Center for Ibsen Studies has this really, really unique collection of documentation on Ibsen. So it's essentially like the Rolls Royce of research for literary studies where you have everything at your fingertips. So in a way, doing research on Ibsen is easier here and also because we have all the resources you could imagine available. Ibsen is the most performed dramatist in the world after Shakespeare. I think Ibsen always will be relevant because he, he is mostly about how we are as humans, trying to find out who we are, trying to find out who people around us are, trying to sort of hide truth from each other because you think it's going to help and it sort of just messes things up. But since Ibsen is so powerful in the way that he writes, I think it's more important now than ever to study him. When you study, for example, literature in general, you study a lot of people from one point of view, and here you study one person from all the points of views, which is awesome. We're really incredibly lucky to have the International Ibsen Festival every other year, so we are very much enriched by having contact with the National Theatre and their long tradition of Ibsen performances. And we um, base our teaching on live performance in the sense that we take our students to live performances and then discuss that performance in our seminars. You can imagine him just sitting somewhere and, and writing his first plays when we go to Xi'an, for example. Uh, that's why we will also visit um, Rome. But I think one of the reasons why people should come to Norway and to, to do Ibsen studies is because probably someone watching this video now is probably someone who's going to discover something new with Ibsen that none of us know anything about. So it'll be like a treasure hunt. <laughs>